Welcome to Scott Evening News. Tonight, we'll be running a special report on income inequality in the local climate. Singapore had a Gini coefficient of 0.48, one of the highest amongst developed countries. But what does this mean for us? First of all, we'll have our in-house expert, Matthew, explain to us what income inequality is. Unequal distribution of income across participants in an economy. The presence of income inequality is an indication that the microeconomic goal of equity has not been achieved. Now, income inequality can be represented on what we call a Lorentz curve. As seen from this diagram, the line which makes 45 degrees with both horizontal and vertical axes is what we call the perfectly equal income distribution curve. Whereas for Singapore's income distribution, it lies below this ideal curve, and there's a divergence between these two curves, which is an indication that income inequality is present in an economy. As you can see over here, area A over A plus B is what we call the Gini coefficient, which is what many countries use to quantify income inequality. And in Singapore's case, the Gini coefficient of Singapore is 0 0.48, which is one of the highest Gini coefficients in the world, indicating that the problem of income inequality is very severe in Singapore. Thank you, Matthew! As you will see, one of the causes of this crushing inequality is the difference in skill level and innate talent. Here in Singapore, we are seeing a tale of two cities. First here, we have Mr. Tan, the bottom percentile of the society living with little material comfort and struggling to make ends meet. Look at how he lacks shoes and has to toil on a daily, daily basis. Here we have Mr. Lee, living in comfort with his designer clothes and top-of-the-line technological devices. Look what he holds in his hand, the cube of Rubik's, and his screen, much like him, is abundant with money. So, what are the secrets to your success? I have the skills to pay the bills. I was tested and I had an IQ of about 120 and I went to all the top schools throughout my youth. Like, my primary school was the best in Singapore. My secondary school was the best in Singapore. My university was the best in the world. Okay, so now, what are your thoughts on the other individual featured in our interview, the street cleaner? I find him severely lacking in many departments because he looks like he has about 66.7% of my IQ and his experience and education cannot possibly match mine. Any other uh, comments? I am the best. Okay, thank you very much. Now you can see the resumes. Mr. Tan has terrible education and poor qualifications. Whereas Mr. Lee has really, really good education and better qualifications. Ooh. Here is a brief economic analysis on the possible causes of income inequality. Let us first examine the market for skilled workers. These individuals have access to good quality education since young, and they are favoured with high IQ and intelligence, causing them to have disproportionately high amount of capability at work. As Singapore progresses to a knowledge-based economy, there is heightened and greater emphasis on the importance of having jobs which require high degrees of specialization and good intellectual depth. As such, many firms now prefer hiring workers which are highly skilled in these areas, causing the demand for them to increase from D0 to D1. Now, this causes their wages to increase greatly from W0 to W1. And the increase in wages is very substantial due to the fact that the price elasticity of supply of such workers is relatively small. This is due to the simple fact that it takes a very long period of time to nurture such skilled and highly capable workers. Now we turn our attention to the market for blue collar workers. These workers are people who have low levels of education 
and are only able to handle menial tasks and job. Due to the aforementioned reasons explained before, the demand for blue collar workers has actually dropped from D0 prime to D1 prime. This causes their wages to fall from W0 prime to W1 prime. As such, we are presented with a situation where the privileged and the rich become even richer with their increase in wages. However, the underprivileged and less educated become poorer due to their low levels of education, qualification, and intelligence. As such, this is why income inequality is such a prevalent and rampant situation. Now, in response to this problem, the government has announced several measures. Earlier today, let's head over to the recap of the press conference that was held earlier this morning. Now, look here. I do not get why all of you are complaining about this income inequality when we have so many solutions. We have a progressive taxation system with taxes ranging from 0% to 20% for the bottom of a population to the top of a population, respectively. We also have subsidies for all the necessities that any Singaporean would need in his or her lifetime. For example, for healthcare, we have the three M's, MediSafe, MediShield, and MediFund. But all of you know that if we want to solve this problem, change must come from within. This is why there are so many initiatives for you to upgrade yourselves. The Workforce Development Agency provides workforce skills qualification courses, and current low wage earners can apply for funding for these courses under the Workfare Training Scheme. In the shorter run, there is a Workforce Income Supplement which adds to the low income earner salaries. So, all of you know, back in my day, it was way harder to survive and make a living as a low income earner. Which is why all of you should wow, be grateful. What a time to be alive! I feel so much more reassured and blown away. Well, some criticisms have been cited about these measures. A progressive tax system may reduce the incentive to work, believing that lower income means lower tax. Beyond that, Medifund only covers a limited range of healthcare services and only a small proportion of the monthly CPF contribution actually goes to the MediSafe account. And lastly, people say that the gestation period is of skill training and education has been too long and there needs to be an immediate help given to the low income. This has been Scrub News Evening. Thank you.